Hello, hello, good evening, class. Good hello, guys. Welcome. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Good night. Hello, good night. Good night, good night. Good evening. Don't forget that. Evening. Good evening. Mm -hmm. Hi, guys. How was your day? Guys, tell me, how was your day, guys? ¿Cómo estuvo el día, chicos? Tell me, we're in the middle of the week, right? How was it? ¿Cómo me les ayudé? A lot of work. So you have a lot of work? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Well, but we're about to finish. Do you have vacations on December? Yes. Okay, so that's awesome. So that's yes. great. Yes. Let's see. Okay, so we're going to start in a second. Yes. Okay. Okay, so we're going to continue, guys, with the previous topic, uh, and we were discussing something related to um, prepositions, right? So just the name, okay. Okay, nice picture. So we have Leonel in here, right? So, hold on. Oh, oops. So I'm having some troubles here. Okay, Fatima, don't worry, that's okay. So we're going to start with our class, guys. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you here again. And let's continue with the previous topic. So we uh, didn't finish this activity. So we'll continue discussing this uh, amazing nice topic. Uh, we were talking about prepositions, right? Prepositions of place. And uh, tell me, what do you remember about these prepositions? Vamos a ver, ¿qué recuerdan de estas preposiciones? So, when do we use them? And um, try to give examples. Let's see. So, when do we use at, for example? Hello, hello, guys. Okay. Especificado uh, días. Um... Y la días específicos. Okay. And how about this one? As prepositions of place. Recuerda que también veíamos los usos como preposiciones de lugares. De lugar. For example, uh, specific points, um, like top, bottom, and of group activities with some standard vocabulary, like school, well, some standard uh, expressions, like school, university, home and work. And we also use it with uh, some shops. So that's about uh, at, how about in? So when do we use in? So remember, they have two usages, as prepositions of time and as uh, prepositions of place too. Recuerden que tienen dos usos, como preposiciones de, de lugar y tiempo. So the difference is that one. La diferencia es el tiempo y otra y el otro uso es que indican ubicación. In, for example, when do we use in for 3D spaces like a bag, a classroom, a box, uh, territory. So we mentioned some things about territory. Mencionamos ahí algunos aspectos de territorio. Por ejemplo, para mencionar qué cosas, el país, a country, what else? The departments and country. uh -huh, countries, departments and neighborhoods, right? Neighborhoods. Neighborhood. También hablamos de, de vecindarios o de colonias. 
para determinar la ubicación. ¿A dónde vives? Where do you live? I live in London. Where do you live? I live in El Salvador. So in that cases, in order to express um, a territory, you use in, right? I live in, um, let's say, las, uh, well, I don't know. Uh, I live in um, Miramonte, for example, or I live in uh, Escalón, I live in Soyapango, I live in San Miguel. So that's the, the usage. Uh, you also use it with the words car and Ben. So where is the uh, book? The book is in the car. Where is the book? The book is in the bank. Uh, we also use this term, uh, this preposition with uh, with water, in the sea, in a river, in a lake, and like in a swimming pool. Okay. Entonces, vamos a utilizar in con espacios 3D, territorio, cuando queremos determinar territorio, una ubicación. Um, también con estas palabras. Uh, and we also, when we talk about water, terms related to water in the sea, in the river, in a lake. Um, and we mentioned some examples about printed material. También hablamos ahí de material impreso. So the fairy tale I read in that book is interesting. El cuento que leí en ese libro, it's interesting, right? In, uh, a, in a picture. So who is the man next to my mother, for example? So who is the man next to my mother in that picture okay in the newspaper in el periódico so when you're reading something so i read it on the newspaper in the newspaper and uh we were here just to finish for our last class we were talking about where we were about to write about on estamos a punto de iniciar con on y so when do we use on in order to talk about marlene this one, number one. Um, on surface, on the table, on the carpet, on the roof, on the sofa. Okay, nice. So remember, we use it with surfaces, right? Lo vamos a utilizar para hablar de superficies. ¿A dónde está tal cosa? So it's on the table. Where is the, uh, where is my cell phone? Your cell phone is on the table. On the Your cell phone is on the desk. Where is the, um, let's say, where is the sofa on the carpet? Where is the, um, let's say, the cat or the toy or the, or, or any other object? So where are my kids? Uh, they are on the carpet. Where is the cat? The cat is on, on, the, roof. on the roof, right? Fighting with the uh, some other cats. Um, and you also have some other examples here on the sofa, right? Entonces, cuando tenemos una superficie y queremos expresar que algo está sobre, sobre esa superficie, utilizamos on. So we also use it with um, floors. La también la utilizamos con los pisos de un edificio. On the first floor, on the fifth floor. En el primer piso. O en el quinto, 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 quinto piso. También lo podemos utilizar con eh, los, ah, los, los pisos de un edificio. And we also have this with the words right and left. También con las palabras right a la izquierda o left. en la derecha. Left. So, mm -hmm, on the right, on the left. The left. So what can, oh. you show, what can you see on your right side? What can you see on your right side? Que pueden ver de su lado derecho. So what can you see on your right side? Question. Um, uh -huh. um, there is. On my, uh -huh, there is on the right. My, my cell okay. is on the right. Okay, my cell phone is on the right. Um, or you can also say there is a cell phone on my right side. Or on the right side. 
And Leonel, tell me, what is on your left side? It's on the, on the left. Mm -hmm. On the left side. Uh, side. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. There is on the left side. Uh -huh. There is on the left side. No. side. There is. No. There is a book. There is on my left book. side. Ah, uh, okay. Uh -huh. There is a book on the left side. Okay, on the left or on my left side. Hay un libro a la izquierda, hay un gato a la derecha, and you can also mention some more things. Uh, there is a cat in a book on my right side. There is a, let's say, a notebook in a computer on my left side. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're going to add a preposition at the end, okay? Entonces va a ir al final. Um, at the end of your sentence, of course, uh, we also use on for public transport. For example, on the bus, the bus. I on like the bus. reading on the bus. She's oh, okay. traveling on the bus, but she travels with bus is different. Okay, she's sitting on the bus. Ella está sentada en el bus, right? On the bus, on the seat, en los asientos. But when you talk about a mean of transportation of how somebody transports to one place to another, you're going to say on, um, well, I traveled by bus. Como decimos, por ejemplo, cuando hablamos del transporte público, ¿cómo se tra eh, transporta a alguien de un lugar a otro? Ah, she travels by bus. En cambio, en este lugar, yo estoy indicando, en, esta, en este caso, yo estoy Cambio un poquito el significado y estoy indicando que una persona o algo está dentro de está en el uh -huh. Ok. Ok, Emerson. We're going to wait. Ok, eso es que aparecería una pequeña diferencia. Pero que siempre recuerden que cómo se que mueve a alguien o cómo viaja a alguien sería bypass. Sería otra preposición. En bus. Y acá. Estamos hablando de que alguien está sentado en el bus. Uh -huh. Sentado, right? Dentro. Um, no, dentro del bus. Well, it can be a little bit, um, let's say, um, okay. Well, I'm going to tell you that later. On the train, so you also use on with the train, but not the car, but not the van. So these are just some um, standard words. Entonces, miren, por acá tenemos una diferencia que con estos medios de transporte utilizamos all y con estos uh, in. For example, another one could be taxi in a cab or in a taxi. Entonces, con las palabras car, van, in taxi, vamos a utilizar in. Y con estas utilizamos on. Pero recuerden que hay una diferencia, ¿verdad? Acá estamos hablando de que algo está dentro de algo, de un espacio delimitado. Y acá estamos diciendo que algo está sobre algo. Okay. And, uh, well, let's continue with the next one. Media, on the radio, on TV, on the internet, and on a website. On I was, website. Uh, uh, for example, uh -huh, I was uh, checking my Facebook and I saw that on Facebook, there are a lot of, uh, let's say, advertisements about Christmas. So suggesting you to buy something on Facebook, on Facebook. So this happens with uh, social media, on Facebook, on YouTube, on TikTok, for example. <laughs> on WhatsApp. Uh -huh. Let's see. Uh, YouTube, YouTube, okay. Okay. so let's say YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. on YouTube, on YouTube, okay, mm. on YouTube, or another example could be, uh, I like watching the news on TV, me gusta ver las noticias en la televisión, I like reading the news on the internet, or I like reading 
on the internet. Um, I saw it on a website. Lo vi en un sitio web. I saw it on a website. Mm -hmm. It's called social media. Utilizamos on, en este caso, on YouTube. And don't forget that. On the radio, on TV, on the internet, on a website. Okay, so now let's practice a little bit the pronunciation with this uh, <coughs> vocabulary that we have in here. And we're going to start with at. Empezamos ahí con at. At the door. At the door. At the door. At the crossroads. At the traffic light. At the traffic light. Traffic light. Traffic light. Okay, at the top of the stairs. At the, the top, top of the stairs. stairs. At the bottom of the page. At the, the bottom, bottom of the page. Of the page. At the end of the street. At, at the, the end, end of the street. street. <laughs> like at this. The end. The, the end. end. The street. The, the street. street. Right. Okay. okay. Nice. Okay. A group of activities also at a party. Okay. At a party, at a party, at a party, at a concert, at a concert, at the cinema, at the cinema, at school, at school, 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 okay, at university, at the university, at home, at home, at work. At, at, work, work, at the bakery, at the bakery, at a cafe, at a cafe, at a cafe. and let's see, uh, at the chemist. At, at the chemist. At the chemist. Okay, so we continue with in uh three D space in the back, in, in the, the back, back, in the classroom, in the classroom, in a box, in, in a, a box. box. What's a box? Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, territory in London. In London. In, London. in Europe. In, in Europe. Europe. In the Alps. In the, in the Alps. Alps. In the Alps. In the Alps. In the world. In the world. In the car. In the car. In the van. In the van. In the sea. In the sea. In a river. In, in a, a river, 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 in a lake, in, in a, a lake. 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 lake, 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 in the swimming pool, in, in the, the swimming, swimming pool, swimming pool, swimming pool. Swimming swimming pool. pool. Okay, or you can also say in a pool. Okay, for example, swimming or nada más pool in a pool. Okay. In a pool. Aha. Uh -huh. Here, just you're just modifying this. En una piscina para nadar, estamos diciendo ahí. Mm. You can only say in a pool. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, printed material in a book. In a, in book, a book. In a picture. In, in a, a picture. 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 Okay. Picture. In a newspaper. In the newspaper. And we continue with on, guys. On a surface. On a surface. On the table. On the table. On the, table. On the, table. On the carpet. On the, the carpet. carpet. On the roof. On the roof. On the sofa. On the sofa. On the first floor. On the third floor. floor. On the fifth floor. On the right, on the right, on the right, on the left, on the left. Okay, uh, on the bus, on the bus, on the train, on the train, on a plane, on a plane. What's a plane? Avioneta. Aeroplano. Airplane. Okay. On the radio. On the radio. On the radio. On the radio. Radio. On the radio. 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 On the radio. Radio. On the radio. On TV. On TV. On the internet. On the internet. Okay. On the internet. On the internet. On the internet. On a website. 
On a web on a website. 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 Okay. On YouTube. On YouTube. YouTube. On YouTube. I was watching a video on YouTube about, let's say, um, big team of uh, pickpocketing. Okay. So now let's continue. I want you to give me some descriptions about the following, um, let's say, a picture. So where is the car? Where is the car? The, the car, car is on the, on the car floor. Car. On the roof, okay. On the no, roof on, or on, on the, the floor? Roof. No, on the roof. <laughs> on the roof. On the, on the floor. On no, the floor. floor, right? Uh -huh. Roof and floor. On the floor. Yes, okay. floor. Uh, yeah. How about the poster? Where is the poster? poster. The poster is. Ah. Where is the poster? On the. How do you say pare? Wall. Okay. Wall. 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 In the wall. Okay. Wall. On the wall. Uh huh. On the wall. Okay. Yeah. The, the poster wall. is on the wall. Uh, and um, correct spell um. Spelling is this one. Uh, well, um, wall. <laughs> wall. Wall. Ah. wall. The second one. Esta. So, wall. well means okay. You can start bien, verdad? Bien de salud. Very well. Okay. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> wall is uh, something different. Wall. wall is la pared. Okay. <laughs> el roof is el, te el techo. And the floor is el roof. piso. El piso. Um, <laughs> okay. So, tell me, where is that TV? The TV is on the table. On the table. How about the toys? Where are the toys? The box toy. The toy is, is on, on the, floor. The, on the floor. 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 Okay, it's on the floor. It's on, on the floor. The floor. floor. Under what? Under the table under the table under the table so here you have another proposition acá tenemos otra preposición para decir debajo right under the table mm -hmm. let's see ah, so now okay. tell me under the table uh -huh, under so that's another preposition of place uh where mm -hmm. are the socks, socks. <laughs> the white the socks, socks on the floor on the, the floor. floor on the floor okay the floor. how about yes. the same um Okay, the pillow. So where is the pillow? The pillow. Mm -hmm. The pillow. The pillow. On the table. On the table. Pillow. No. I don't see. The pillow is a lamp. Ah. Oh. <laughs> the pillow. <laughs> <laughs> La lámpara. No, that's la a lamp. La almohada. La uh -huh. <laughs> on the bed. On the, on the, the bed. On the bed. Nice. So, Wilbur, you're back. Así no, así no veo a Wilbur que ya se regresó. Okay. Thank you, guys. So, let's continue. So, new information for you. Okay. So, by the way, how do you write that? This way. At least you like uh, laughing. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Pillow. Okay. Pillow. Uh -huh. Pillow. So just one P. Pillow. Okay. Pillow. Not, not pilot. No, no. Ah, no. Pilot? So what is a pilot? Pilot. 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 Uh -huh. Un? Un piloto. Un piloto. In a marker? Ah, es que así lo confundí. No, no. Sí, yo buscaba un piloto también. <risa> Por eso para marcar. Que estaba en la mesa, sobre la mesa. Estábamos, estábamos sí. a los salvadoreños. Okay. ¿Dónde está el piloto? Por los muñequitos nos dirigimos. ¿no? <risa> nice. Uh, <you're> learning. <risa> uh, almohada, I think, this way, right? Almohada. <risa> okay. <laughs> okay, marker, uh -huh. uh, pilot, and pillow. And let's see any other. Well, okay, highlighter. Yes, highlighter. Lighter. Highlighter. Este es un, um, okay, marcador. Sería marcador, pero 
Sí. Así de colores. Los, Como los flores, de color es un resaltador. No sé. <risa> Uh -huh. Ay, marcador uh, para resaltar texto. That's a highlighter. Highlighter. Okay, marker, marker. Marker. Pilot. Pilot. Pillow. Pillow. Highlighter. 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 Okay, nice. So now hmm. we're going to uh, observe some pictures again and we're going to use in, okay? Where is the teacher? The teacher is in the classroom. Excellent. The teacher is in the classroom. And now I need that. Sin duda. Right? <laughs> Don't hesitate. Okay. Where are the students? Where are the students? The student is in the house. <laughs> the student. Okay. So where are them? <laughs> they are in the classroom too. As well with the... Yeah, the same as the teacher, right? And where is the um, patient? Where is the patient? The patient is on the the doctor. Case <laughs> at the doctor's. At the doctor. Podríamos decir si nos estamos refiriendo al consultorio está at the doctor's o también is in. Okay, like we can say the doctor's Doc clinic. Um, okay, office could be, well, I prefer to use clinic. Or you can also say at the doctor's, okay? Or in the doctor's clinic. So he's inside, right? Okay, so let's continue with the next picture and let's see how you do it. What is, uh, okay. So where are the, let's see, uh, yeah, what is the president? The president is 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 in the in office. The White House is in the White House. Okay, nice. Or in his office. Okay, very good. In his office. Where is the cat? What is? Let's see. The cat Panchito. is on the box. In a, in, Panchito in a, is in a box. Panchito is in a box. In a and box. also. <laughs> Ya no aprendimos el nombre de oso. De oso. Yeah, that's Rosarita. that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Pues gente nos ha oso. Yes. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> mañana, mañana. <laughs> okay, so we continue with the second usage. So pay attention to this. Where is Bicentenario Park? Is, is, is Bicentenario Park. This is. Um, is, is San in San Salvador. Salvador. In San Salvador. Mm, sure. San no, Salvador or La Libertad? So, la Libertad. Uh, la Libertad. La okay. Libertad. So where is the boy? Where is the boy? The, the boy is in the car. In the, in in the, the car. car. Yes. In the and car. where is this house? The house is... In the beach. In the beach, in the sea, right? In the beach, um, in the sea, in, in the Costa del Sol. So you have three options. In the sea. The... Uh -huh. So remember that we water, sea, lake, uh, river. river. Uh -huh. And also a uh, place in Costa del Sol, right? In La Paz, Costa del Sol. Costa. In La Puntilla. In La Puntilla, okay. La Puntilla, okay. So where is um, Parque Balboa? La Salva. Yes. Panchimalco. Panchimalco. Planet de Rendero. Planet de Rendero. Uh -huh. So Parque Balboa is in? Planet de Planet de Rendero, right? Rendero. Okay, so let's continue with the second one. On. Did you like me say what? Where is TV? Where is that TV? On the on the wall. Okay, that TV is on the wall. And how about the lamps? Yeah, the lights, the bulbs. Los ahí los bombillos, the bulbs. In the in the wall. 
For the lights. On the table. Lights. On the floor. Okay. On the table. There are two on the wall. Then the what else can you observe? So what is on the table? So I, I think that's. Oh, I can't even see this. So I think that's a pineapple or something like that. And there pineapple. is a plant. Uh huh. And there is a, also a plant in the table. Oh, on the table. The table. Right? On the table. Okay. So do you like music, guys? Yes, I like music. Uh huh. So what kind of music yes. do you like? Mm. I, I like, like um, a rock. Cumbia. Rock music. No, okay. Cumbia. 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 Music. I like, Cumbia. No. <laughs> I like to listen. Electronic music. Electronic I music. Like. I like Cumbia. Romantic music. Aleatorio. Romantic. No, aleatorio. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Yeah, right now. Okay. Um, merengue, probably. Merengue. Merengue. Yes. Okay. Merengue. Uh, yes. <laughs> salsa. <laughs> salsa music. And where do you listen to music? On the radio, on TV, on YouTube? On the radio. Radio. On the, radio. On the car. O on the phone. In the, in the car. car. In the car. In the on the phone. radio. Yes. Okay, and uh, you and Ilea, so where do you listen to music? In the work. At work. Uh -huh. At work. work. Specific at location. Work. At work. And work. what is the, the thing or the object that you use or the media that you use in order to listen to music? Okay. So you say that you that you listen to music at work, <laughs> but what do you use? The radio, a TV, um, your cell phone, cell phone, um, YouTube. Uh huh. So you need an an app on my cell phone too, could be. Okay. And uh, well, where are these uh, guys? Where are them? So in where, the bus. Uh huh. Can you repeat it again. Are in the bus. In the bus or on the bus? On the bus. 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 So it looks like she trans. So they, they are very happy. <laughs> okay, so well now let's continue with the next one. Uh, at, let's see. Tell me, guys, where is Panchito? Panchito. Volando. Flying. Panchito is flying. Open the door. Okay. <laughs> Open the door. Oh, the door. Panchito is opening the door. Okay. <laughs> Panchito is knocking the door. So Panchito is knocking the door or at the door, right? Panchito is at, at the door. At the door. At the door. At the door. Puerta, right? Puerta. So that is the specific point that we have. Panchito is at the door. Um, let's see if we have some more pictures. So how about also? Where is also? On the roof. <laughs> the roof. No, come on. That's not the roof. On the escalera. Uh, stairs at the stairs. top or at the bottom of the uh, stairs? On the top. top. At the top of the stairs, right? Yeah. Okay, nice. At the top of the stairs. Okay, so where is Mario? So can you tell me where is Mario? The party. At a party, right? At a party. At a party. At a party. Okay. Who is at the bakers? Okay, who is at the bakery? Bakery. Who is at the bakery? Fatima, probably. In the cafeteria. <laughs> Uh-huh. So when we talk about the shops, 
So we're going to use at, right? Recuerden que cuando vamos a hablar de las eh, tiendas, vamos a utilizar at para referirnos a la ubicación específica del edificio o, eh, bueno, si queremos mencionar ahí que alguien está ahí, ¿verdad? En un punto en específico. ¿Y cuál sería la diferencia entre at y in en este caso? Que in sería cuando usted está dentro de... Dentro de de un espacio delimitado. Entonces ahí estamos utilizando como un espacio 3D, ¿verdad? Las dimensiones que eh, comprende ya sea la oficina, ya sea el, ¿qué? Eh, el salón de clases, eh, un parque también tiene limitaciones. Entonces, uh, un bosque también podría ser para utilizar IN. Cuando... Um, so let's, I'm going to write examples. In a forest, in a park, in the garden, okay, in the classroom. Okay, entonces, um, lo que me refiero acá es que in puede ser tanto para espacios abiertos o cerrados, pero que tienen ciertas eh, boundaries o límites, tienen Limites. espacios ya delimitados. Lo que mencionábamos como el ejemplo del salón de clases, tienes los espacios delimitados. Bueno, that's, so we don't have anything more to say about that. Entonces, pero pueden ser abier espacios abiertos o cerrados. Estamos mencionando que alguien o algo está dentro de. Y at nada más para mencionar. Y pues eh, lo utilizamos con shops para indicar un punto específico. So who is at the bakers? Example, um, quien está en la, Who is at the bakery? Fatima is at the bakery. If you want to specify that. Okay. And uh, questions so far about it. Questions. Yo tengo una pregunta. Entonces, el link también lo podemos usar, digamos, aplica para supermercado, almacén. Depende a lo que se esté refiriendo, porque puede haber un cambio semántico. In the classroom, por ejemplo. Acá estoy diciendo que alguien está dentro de las delimitaciones de ese espacio físico, que sería el salón de clases. At, yo estoy diciendo que estoy en un punto, eh, okay, en un punto en particular, estoy dando una ubicación, punto exacto. Y el at tiene la otra característica que usted lo utiliza con eh, tiendas. At the bakery. Bakers. Ajá. At the bakery, at a cafe, como lo teníamos ahí. Entonces esa sería la diferencia. Uno no está indicando que algo está dentro de algo. Por ejemplo, cuando veíamos el, el caso de, del gatito, Panchito, Panchito is in a box, está dentro de. Uh -huh. Esa sería la diferencia. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you, Tatiana. And we're going to have some practice because we're going to check some other usages later on. Vamos a tener un poquito de práctica porque luego venimos con algunos otros ejercicios. Okay, done. Ah, no. Okay, so we're going to practice with this. So can you see my screen, guys? Yes? Yes. Perfect. So let's watch the video. So we're going to watch the following video and complete the sentences using uh, in, on, or at. Okay. Um, listen up. I'm going to be sharing with you the link, but first... We're going to watch that. Prepositions of place. Listen and fill in the sentences with the correct preposition of place. One, I eat breakfast at the table. Okay, okay so what is the preposition that he mentioned? So take notes. So copy, the, copy number one. Number one, I eat breakfast and write the preposition in, on, or at. 
I eat breakfast. At the table. At the table. table. Okay. At, at the, the table. table. Nice. So when we say at the table, cuando decimos eh, que ella desayuna en la mesa, no que está sobre la mesa, ¿verdad? at the table. Okay. Y ella está sentada comiendo. So that's, um, that's a eat at the table. Okay. O por ejemplo, podríamos poner otro caso porque ya todos están sentados. So the question will be, where are you? Everybody is at the table. Everybody is at the table. ¿A dónde estás? Ya todos están en la mesa. Ya están sentados, ya sirvieron la comida. And where are, where are you, right? Probably traveling from the person or the victim. <laughs> it's probably, uh, I don't know, at a party, at Metro Centro. Ni las luces, ¿verdad? Yes. Uh -huh. okay. I eat breakfast at the table. Two. I always sleep in my bed. Okay. In my bed. In, in my bed. bed. In Copy my the bed. number. Copy the number. number I always two. sleep in my bed. Okay, perfect. I always sleep in my bed. Three. I practice sports on the basketball court. On the basketball court. Mm -hmm. On the basketball court. I practice sports on the basketball court. In the four. I read books in my bedroom. I read books in my bedroom. In my bedroom. In my bedroom. Okay. The copy room. are you here? Five. I sometimes cook dinner at my grandma's house. At my grandma's house. Cook oh. dinner at my grandma's house. At six. The public library is on 12th Street. It's on 12th Street. Street. Seven. I exercise at the gym. At the, at the gym. gym. Exercise at the gym. At the gym. Eight. I like to swim in the ocean. In the ocean. I like to swim in the ocean. In the ocean. Nine. My family picture is on the wall. It's on, on the, the wall. wall. Family oh, picture okay. is on the wall. It's on the wall. Ten. My dog plays in the garden. In the garden. My dog in plays the in the garden. In the garden. Eleven. My sister leaves her clothes on the floor. On the floor. On the floor. My sister leaves her clothes on the floor. On the floor. Okay, so right now I'm going to send you the link and you can start um, typing your answers. Okay, ahí les he compartido in the meeting chat the link. So you can start uh, writing the answers, okay? Ahí van a ver los ejercicios nuevamente. Y I hope that you have taken notes. Y si van tomando notas, solamente van a ir ubicando la preposición en los espacios en blanco. So you have to fill in the blank spaces. Okay. So do you okay. Get... Yes? Yes. yes. Uh -huh. So you're going to fill in these exercises. So from one, two, and eleven, and then you click here in done. So let me know once you're ready. So once you get your uh, result, you send it to WhatsApp, okay? Thank you. 
Okay, you're ready? No. Not yet. So what do you have for number one? I eat breakfast. Okay, so let's check them. Number one. So what do you have for number one? I eat breakfast? At the table. At the table. Number two. Um, let's see. Marlene, can you read number two? No, no, Marlene, where are you? Number two. Number two. Number two is in my bed. In my bed. Okay. Number three. Um, I left. My bed. I practice mm -hmm. sports. And practice sport. Um, in the basketball. In the basketball court. Um. On. Uh -huh. Okay. On the basketball court. On the basketball. Uh -huh. Okay. Practico basketball in la cancha de. Oh, practico deportes. Uh, number four. Um, Sarita. I read a book in my bedroom. Okay. I read books. Um, let's see who else. Melissa, what do you have for number five? I sometimes cook dinner. Okay, teacher, eh, tengo problemas aquí en el celular, pero le coloqué on. Oh, yes. Okay. And let's see, Flor, what do you have for this one? Or somebody else? Um, let's see. Um, Leticia, Janet, Stephanie. So what do you have for this one, number five? I sometimes cook dinner. At. 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 At, okay. my, at my grandma's At home. my grandma's house, okay. Number six, the public library is? Oh, at 12th Street. On. Ah, okay, so on, what do you have for this one? On. On. Hmm, okay. Number seven, mm. I exercise. At the gym. At, at the gym. At the gym. At the gym. Eight, I like to swim. In the ocean. In, in, in the, the ocean. ocean. Okay, the ocean. in the ocean. How about, um, okay, Fatima, don't worry. And my family picture is. On the wall. On the wall. In the garden. In the garden. In the garden. In eleven. On the floor. It's close on the floor. 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 Okay. Okay. So now let's check it. Let's see. Okay. Outstanding. Very good. So you got the 10. Así les quedó a todos. Igualito. Uh, yeah, outstanding. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. So take some uh, screenshots. And uh, look at this. We'll continue with some other examples. Um, 
so we're going to check some theory just for the uh, last 10 minutes. Uh, prepositions of place can be difficult, but here are some, uh, well, here's some help. For example, if something is contained inside a box or a wide flat area, we use in. Miren, aquí tenemos la teoría. Si algo está dentro de una caja o un espacio abierto, utilizamos in. For example, in the newspaper, a flat area, un área plana también, a wide flat area. In the newspaper, can you read the rest? Let's see, Sarita. In the newspaper, in a cup, in a bottle, in a bell, in London, in a book, in a field, 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 in a field, in my my stomach, stomach, stomach. Yes. stomach. Continue, continue, please. In a house, in a drawer, okay, in a, in a bag, in a car, in England, in a poop. Pub, 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 okay. In, in the sea, in a river. Okay, nice. And what's a pub? What's a pub? I don't know. Okay. What is the meaning pub? That's a um, bar. It's a, yeah, it's a bar. Mm. A bar. And uh, the drawer, what's a drawer? Any idea? So the one that you uh, put, well, so that could be a uh, bedside table. Sería un cajoncito, eh, cajones, in a drawer, uh -huh. cajón. Um, también tenemos el del, que ponen a la par de la cama, bedside table. Uh -huh. Como la mesa de noche, ¿qué dice? Ajá, uh -huh. so where you put your lamp. Okay, so there you have some examples. Okay, so we continue with on. So these are just some examples, okay? Aquí ya van mezclados todos. La cartera está. Acá están todos mezclados y ya no están divididos como lo estamos haciendo anteriormente. So you can take some ideas. Can you read la cartera está el cargador. Um, Marlene, can you read this, please? This one. Okay, on the table, on the floor, on my face, on the page, on the chair, on the river, on the sailing, okay. on a bike. On a bike. Continue with this side. On the wall, on the window, on a plate, on the sofa, on a bag, on a t-shirt, on a bottle, okay. on his foot. Nice. So look at this. So what is the word plate? Plate. Mm -hmm. Plate, I don't know. Sobre. Oh. Plato. So it's a plate. Plato. Um, mm -hmm. Plato. Plate. On, on a, a bottle. Okay. Plate. Bottle. Probably there is on something uh, sobre. Sobre un plato. Ajá. Algo que está sobre un plato o sobre una botella podría ser la etiqueta. No se está refiriendo al contenido que está adentro. Por ejemplo, si algo está en una línea o una forma horizontal o vertical, pero si hay algo sobre una superficie. Entonces, no lo van a confundir ahí con in, ¿verdad? Que recuerden que aquí está sobre algo. Está sobre el plato, sobre el sofá, sobre la bolsa, eh, sobre la camisa, el estampado podría ser, eh, sobre la botella, podría ser la etiqueta, o the price, Okay, on his foot. On the price. On his so foot. Continue with um, sobre su pierna. At. Eh, Leonel, can you help us with this one? At. It's at something. Uh -huh. If something is at a point, it could be a building. We use at. At the airport. Mm -hmm. At the table. At the cinema. At the bottom. At the traffic light. At the back, at the university, at the hospital, at the door, at the bus shop, at the top, top. at the pub, at the front, top. at the school, at the window, at the piano. Okay, nice. So look at this, at the airport, at the, at the airport. table, airport. 
at the cinema, at the bottom, traffic lights, at the back means en la parte de at the back de atrás, ¿verdad? At the back. Atrás. Back. At university, at the hospital. Uh, bus stop. So what is a bus stop? Bus stop. En la parada, parada de bus. En la parada de bus. The bus stop. Okay. Um, at the front. En el frente. Front and frente. At the pub. Eh, sobre el plato o la lámina. This one, this one. Pop. What is a pop? Uh, uh, Bar. En el bar, ¿verdad? Yeah. Okay. So notice that this is different to, different to the previous one, right? Yes. And we have the in a pub. So we, we mean mm. inside, right? Mm. Inside the building. And we talk about at. So we're giving a reference of a specific point. Uh, where is Leonel? Leonel is at the, um, let's say, at the hospital. <laughs> okay. And when to use this article? Okay, acá, yo escuchaba que Leonel um, ubicaba el da en algunos casos. Y no lo tenía. ¿Cuándo vamos a utilizar este da? Cuando algo es familiar o conocido por nosotros. So, where are uh, the girls? ¿Dónde están las chicas? They are at school. Están en la escuela, right? Or at, um, at the door, for example. Están en la puerta, at the door. So, the door of the house. So, that's familiar. Todos saben cuál es la puerta, right? Um, let's see. At the window, en la ventana. So, um, fear lies is at the window. Que probably is sad. <laughs> Let's see. So here are some com more common ones that don't really fit. Aquí hay algunas que, eh, bueno, que veíamos. Social media, in transport, uh, social media, and uh, these two, right? At home and at work. Entonces, estas eh, no las metemos eh, dentro, digamos, de una categoría, porque estas ya están predeterminadas de esta manera. At home y at work. Um, what are you, Marlene? Marlene, where are you? I'm at home. Uh, you sure? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Fatima is at work right now, right? Okay. And that's all. So we continue uh, learning a little bit more. And uh, let me check. Okay. So we're going to finish with this part of the class in here. So just let me share my screen back again. And we finish with this exercise. So can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to start again. Okay. So you gotta tell me where are the pets. So we have a parrot, we have a um, Mouse, a rabbit, a cat, a fish, a turtle, and what else? A bird and a dog, so, right? Uh, where, where is the rabbit? <coughs> the rabbit is in the hat. In the hat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You sure? In it's or not? It's in the hat. Okay, so let's see if I can mark this one. Well, I can have that. Great, okay, that's in the hat. Let's see, let's continue with the next one. Where is the dog? Where is the dog, guys? The dog, the dog is, is in, in the car. In the car. In the, in the car. car. Can you be uh, a little bit more specific and give me an exact point of the car? The dog is at, at the back of the dog is at the back of the car. Está en la parte de atrás. Atrás. Está adentro, pero más específico está en la parte atrás. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, but that was good, in the car. Where is the cat right now? The cat is... <clears throat> In the back. In the back. In the back. Nice. Okay. Great. So let's continue. Where are the fish? The fish. The fish is are the fish are in the water. In the water. In the water. Okay. In the water. In the water. In the water. Okay, so notice that you can use fish as a plural form too. What are the uh, fish? Are, uh -huh. Fish are fish are in the, in the water. In the water. Okay. Fish are, what is the total? The total is the total it's on the turtle. On the phone. <laughs> on the turtle. On the on the fish. It's on the, on the fish. It's on the fish. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> on the fish, it's on the fish. fish. In the belly, it's on okay. the fish. In the fish belly, <laughs> and la pancita. <laughs> no, it's on the fish, right? That's it. On the fish. Okay, great. So that wasn't correct. Where is the bird? <laughs> the bird is on on the house. It's on the house. On the house. It's on the house. It's on the house. On the house. Ah, nice. It's on the house. On the house. Okay. Where is the pro? Pro. 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 It's, it's on, the... on the book. On the on the book. 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 Right. Awesome. So where is the mouse? The horse. The mouse is the mouse on the table. It's in the. It's in the classroom. It's in the classroom. Okay. On the floor. In the classroom. On the floor. Yes. Great. On the floor. So let's create the sentence. The mouse is in the classroom on, on the floor. Sitting on, on the, the floor. floor. Sitting uh -huh. on the floor. Sitting on the floor. Okay. Sitting on the floor. Nice. He put a tation. And repeat it. It's it, it put a tation. Pay, pay attention. Pay. Pay. The mouse. Pay attention. Mm -hmm. pay. The mouse pay attention. Pay attention. The mouse ah, okay. paying attention. Pay. Pay attention. So never put pay, pay attention. Ah, okay, okay. Nice. Pay attention. Yes, pay. Okay, so now we can continue with the rest of the activities. Yeah, so I think this is going to take um some more time than I'm that I expected to. Let's see. So right now I'm going to give you give you an extra um, information about these prepositions. So I want you to pay uh, close attention to this. So look at this. So we have talked about these neighborhoods, in uh, cities, countries, and places with a boundary. So it means, it means with limits, right? Ya hablamos de esto, ya hablamos de, let's see, points con at. Ahora vamos a utilizar on y at para hablar de avenues, islands, um, in, at, for, addresses, specific locations. Ok, eso ya los vimos. Nos vamos a enfocar en estos dos, on y at, para dar direcciones. So look at this. So you're going to use on for streets and avenues. For example, on Pennsylvania Avenue. Pennsylvania Avenue. This is the name of the street, and this is the and this is the avenue, right? Um, islands. So you also use on for islands on Fiji Island. Seven Avenue. On Conejo Island, Island right? Island. Was stolen by um, Andre. <clears throat> <laughs> and at for uh, addresses. For example, uh, in here you add the number plus the name of the street 
and if you want to, or if you know that, you add the avenue. Okay, muy bien. Veamos acá la diferencia. On. Vamos a utilizar con las calles y avenidas. avenidas. Puede ser uno de los dos, ¿verdad? On, uh, let's say on, uh, on Calle de Oro Street. On uh, Juan Pablo II Avenue. In at for more specific location. We're going to give a uh, check some examples. Vamos a dar unos ejemplos, and I want you to pay attention to this. So notice that on is like general, you only add the street and avenue, and at is more specific. So we go from general to specific. So notice that. Vamos de lo general a lo específico. Noten eso. Cuando estamos hablando acá en in, hablamos de eh, los lugares, los vecindarios, los países. Ciudades eh, y lugares con el cuello. Antes. Eh, el cuello está en los días, solo hice como 28. Thank you. Thank you. In on, it's a little bit more specific, but not that all specific. Street and avenues and addresses with the number and plus the name of the street and the avenue. Entonces, no tiene acá la diferencia. Vamos de las calles, las avenidas, a algo específico, ya con un número de local o edificio o de casa. Okay, so now let's check some examples. Um, example uh, one, look at the following examples and for more. Uh, there is a hospital on the 25th Avenue. Okay. Is it right? Okay. So probably this is part of the name in this case. O sea, en este caso lo damos así porque es parte del nombre. There is a hospital on the 25th uh, Avenue. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and next example, there is a mall. Okay, so we have the name of the avenue. Es el nombre de la avenida. There is a restaurant on El Boquerón Street. So I don't know the name. Probably you know that. Can you El Boquerón. Ajá, uh -huh. El Boquerón. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think mm -hmm. so. Um, Leonel, can you read the next one? There is a Walmart. <laughs> There is a Walmart on Boulevard. There is a Walmart on Boulevard del Ejército. Mm -hmm. So we're just adding the, let's say, the Boulevard. I work on Pan Americana Street in Mall. Okay. So what can you notice here? We have the name of the street. Miren, acá tenemos el nombre de la calle. I work on Panamericana Street in, para referirme a que bueno, trabajo bueno. dentro de eh, el encuentro. O podríamos poner, podemos um, nada más hablar de ubicación, un punto exacto, at el encuentro mall. Entonces ahí depende de cómo, eh, qué sentido le quiere dar esta. Okay. Trabajo en el encuentro mall, in Dollar City, at el encuentro mall. Ahí tendría un poquito más de sentido. Vamos a tratar de escribirla por acá. I work on an Americana street. So start thinking about your examples. Ya comienza a pensar en dónde trabajo. Working on Americana street in the Dollar City, for example, Dollar City at el encuentro. Okay. En el centro comercial, el encuentro. So that makes a big a change. Uh, so now let's check another one. I work at 772, 700. Empezamos con el primer número, después agregamos el 100, 700. Okay, 700. Y luego nos venimos ahí con el 70, 70. Seventy-two. This is para los números del cien en adelante. Seven hundred seventy-two. Um, 
Panamericana Street. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre S y S? So what is it? Eh, uh -huh. Dice que uh, yeah. trabaja dentro del, del, <laughs> del está encuentro. Dando, <laughs> okay. Está dando el nombre de, de una calle específicamente, ya de, la, de, de un tramo de la, de la Panamericana. Uh -huh. Ese es un ejemplo. No, no sabemos en qué kilómetro está <laughs> o en qué número de... Ajá, uh -huh. exacto eso. Eh, entonces, acá estamos siendo más específicos cuando utilizamos at. Por eso ubicamos el número más la calle o la avenida. Let's check uh, the next one. I work at 55, 55th Las Mercedes Street. I work in Metro, right? I work in San Miguel. I work in El Salvador. And the last one is, I work in El Carmelo neighborhood. So where do you work or live, guys? So in here, you can also add your neighborhood. So don't say colony, so that's not the same. Recuerden que colony no es colonia, o sea, es colonia, pero no de, del tipo vecindario, right? Ese es otro tipo de colonia. Eh, neighbor. Vamos a referir a la colonia okay, como neighborhood o vecindario. Ok, so now let's continue. Okay. Hold on, give me a second. So right now I'm going to show you a picture of a map and you have to tell me where is the bank? Where is the bank? So you can use on or at. The on Main Street. The bank, the bank is uh, on Main Street. Let's see, the bank is uh, on the first Main Street. Street. Uh -huh. It's on the first avenue. Okay, in Main Street. Corner. Main Street. Uh, or it can also be at the corner. Okay. The bank is on. On the corner. Okay. You can say at the corner. At the corner. The corner of first. First. Okay. Now remember, in this case, bueno, en este caso, espérame, de que escucho un background. Ok, nice. Ok, the bank is at the corner of, y vamos a ubicarlo según el orden de importancia. ¿A dónde quedaría la entrada del banco? ¿Sobre la First Avenue o la Main Street? Uh, Main Street. Ok, the bank is at the corner of Main Street. Okay, and the and first, the first avenue. Okay, in the first avenue, el banco está en la esquina de la calle principal y la primera avenue. y la primera avenida. So guys, now where is let's see the bookstore? Where is the bookstore? So can you check that? The bookstore is on the Apple Street. On Apple Street. And it's on Apple on Street. Apple Street. Oh. It's at the corner. And the corner. At the corner. Second. Okay, Second Avenue. So in second, this case, okay, se puede ubicarle también ahí en la esquina si quieres eh, referirse que está 
en la esquina, utilizando at. Ajá, utilizando at. The bookstore is at the corner. Entonces aquí lo agregaríamos acá en medio. Es at the corner. O, pero ahí ya no es necesario que utilicemos el on. Lo que estamos diciendo está en la esquina de la calle Apple, la segunda avenida. Y acá podemos ubicar una coma o ubicamos el en. The bookstore is at the corner. Ajá, entonces acá la proposición sería at. Estamos mencionando que es el punto específico. Entonces, si solamente ubicamos acá, the bookstore is on y sigue la calle, entonces ahí sí, ¿verdad? Pero si está a ubicar la esquina como punto de referencia principal, sería at. The bookstore is at the corner of, ya no sería el on. Ahí estaríamos diciendo que está en cualquier punto de esa calle. Um, exacto, entonces no está siendo tan específico. Si está diciendo que está sobre la calle Apple y la segunda Correct. avenida, pero no está dando un punto más exacto. En este caso, at para hacerlo más exacto, podríamos utilizar at. Uh -huh. Sí. Eh, sí, recuerden que eh, veníamos de lo general a lo específico. In, on, con la calle, y at, ya más específico, en la esquina. Entonces tenemos el caso de acá arriba. The bank is at the corner of, miren, no ubique on. Ahí no, at the corner of Main Street and the First Avenue. Vamos a dejar esos dos ejemplos para que ustedes lo analicen. Um, where is, let's see, um, Where is the police station? Where is the police station? The police station. The police station is at the Fifth Avenue. Mm -hmm. Is on. On. Okay, on, on the, the first, first avenue. avenue. On the first. On the. Okay. Okay, está en la primera avenida. Ahora bien, um, ¿qué hacer para hacerlo más específico? Utilizar otra preposición. Uh -huh. Entre. Between the bank and. The and bank. Pongamos el otro nombre ahí, el, eh, la ubicación and C. Between the bank and. Marker. Hospital. And the hospital, ok. Hospital. And the hospital. Entonces también podemos utilizar esta otra preposición para indicar que algo está en medio de. Between. Right? So the police station is between on the first the avenue. Bank. Between the bank and the hospital. Mm -hmm. So in there you're giving, a, let's say, an exact address. Voy a dar una ubicación un poco más exacta. Pero si no, pues decimos al pobre Cristiano que está en la primera avenida, pero no. Güey. ¿Ves el palito que está ahí? Al palo, o sea, ahí no le. En el otro. Cerca de un palo de mango. Uh. Ok, nice. So let's continue. Okay, so in here you have a chart. Aquí tenemos un chart ya nada más para hacer la comparación entre las time prepositions and las place prepositions. And look at this. Time. Todo lo que estamos hablando estos días anteriores. Centuries, decades, years, months, weeks. Location, country, city, and neighborhood. Aquí tenemos como tiempo y como lugar. Location. So you go from general to specific. If you want, you can get screenshot. Tomen una captura de pantalla para que lo lo puedan estudiar un poco más. Okay. So 
Ivan, now is your turn to play um speaking game. So you have to describe the following um, map and the addresses. So where is the bank? The bank is on Barrios Street. So look at this, the bank is on Barrios Street. Or we can also say the bank is at the uh, at the end of what would be another possible answer. The bank is at the end. Miren, se acuerdan que veíamos at con el final de. The bank is at the end of the street. Está al final de. At the end of, um, let's say, Barrios Street. Barrios Street. El final de la calle Barrios. So how about the church? Where is the church? Church. Mm -hmm. The church. Okay, the church is at second avenue. On. So remember, we're, we're not giving specific information. So let's check it again. Veamos nuevamente on para las calles y las avenidas. At, cuando llamamos inclu a incluir el número más el nombre de la calle. O también cuando tenemos algunas eh, eh, palabras eh, específicas, por ejemplo, en la esquina o ubicaciones específicas en la esquina, um, en la tienda, at the store. Okay, so let's check it again. So the church, what is the church? The church is on 2nd Avenue, on the 2nd okay. Avenue. Okay, on the 2nd Avenue. Okay, so we can also add this um, next to, uh, otra preposición ahí de ubicación, a la par de, the city hall next to the city hall okay so where is the city hall the city hall is this the on city the second hall. avenue okay on the second avenue on the second next avenue. to city hall next to Next, next, next to the to church. church, city hall. Next. Okay, next to the city hall. No. Yes. Next to the church. City hall. Entonces, ¿qué era la par de eso? The church. Vaya, pa no vaya, pa. Okay, nice. Let's see. Um, no, I'm just kidding. That's a uh, Where is, let's see, Bookworth? Guys, where is Bookworth? No está el mundo del libro. Bookworth. Bookworth is, is on the Roosevelt Street. On Roosevelt. Roosevelt Street. On Roosevelt. Uh -huh. On Roosevelt Street. Roosevelt Street. Okay, so in here you can use across from, across from, across from the Arox company. Okay, across from, across from Arox company. Okay, so what's the meaning across from, across from? Cruzando la calle. Ajá, enfrente de, enfrente, enfrente de. Podemos utilizar in front of o across in from. From, ah, in from. Cualquiera of. de esas dos es el mismo significado. Aquí al otro lado, es decir, de la, de la calle. In front of. O frente en a. Frente. Uh -huh. Frente a. En frente de, right? Okay, so right now uh, I want you to practice these um, questions. Let's see. And I think that I have it. 
No, this one. So I'm going to give you some minutes for you to practice the uh, rest of the places that we have here. Entonces, le vamos a dar un poquito más de tiempo um, in the breakup rooms. And you can start creating your own questions. For example, what is the park? What is the restaurant? Where is the, um, let's see, school? Where is the sport palace? And remember that you can also add some other, uh, let's say, prepositions like between, um, next to, in front of, across from. También pueden incluir esas, right? So you're ready, guys? Yes? All right. Okay, nice. Let's see. So join the breakout rooms. And please, uh, get a screenshot. Take a screenshot. Tómale una captura. So don't go with us without the screenshot. A la Concepción, um, Oscar, Wilbur, ¿les envío la invitación nuevamente? Ok, teacher. Eh, De acuerdo. No por, por error. No te preocupes. Uh Le encontró. Ah, ahorita, pero me quedó dando muerto el teléfono. Anda, espérate, hijo. Ahorita lo Ahí anda el WhatsApp, la mandé. Ahorita vamos. Sí. ¿Qué Hola, hola chicas. Hola, dígame. ¿Vamos a hacer restaurante o ah, todas las demás? Todas, todas las que faltan. Todas las que faltan. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, si te... Compartan ahí el, el map para que lo vayan viendo. Ah, ahí lo... Ahí el... La foto manda el grupo del WhatsApp. Ok, vamos... Sí, ahí el envío. Ah, sí, perfecto. Compartan okay. aquí en, el, en la share screen. Para que lo vayan viendo aquí en la pantalla. Solo que la tengo en el teléfono y en la compu no la tengo. ¿Y se la descarga? Es que no me, no me conecta, no, puede, no he podido conectar el WhatsApp para descargarla. Ok. Eh, bueno, no sé, si Fátima ya llegó a casa, todavía no. Sí, ahorita voy llegando. Ahorita ya voy a ver si puedo ir. Ok. Bueno, entonces esperamos ahí. Entonces. Y no la van viendo ahí con... Ajá. La van viendo en, el, en la foto del grupo. Y tenemos que ir haciendo siempre la pregunta de where is... Ajá. Where is the restaurant? Ah, okay. That's the answer. Where is the restaurant? Okay. Ah, no, 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 no,
is the res restaurant. Y ahora la pregunta sería, the, the restaurant is the restaurant is is on in, in, in city hall where is the book world where is the book world the book world is on the Rosenberg Street from the city hall. No, perdón, between City Hall and Arrow Company. Between, no, sería ahí Corner, man. Corner. Corner Arrow Company. Arrow. Arrow. Arrow Company. Company. Sí, porque no está en, en medio de los de City Hall, sino que está a la esquina. En la esquina. Uh -huh. okay. What is the bank? The bank is on Barrio Street. On Barrio Street. Where is the Where is the school? Where is the school? The school. The school. Is the Barrio Street um, from the Sport Palace? From the Sport Palace. Where is the park? The park is on Fifth Avenue. Front mall. No sería at porque es algo más específico. At. at. Vamos a ver. At. At. First Avenue. Location. At First Avenue. No sería on va on entonces. On sería Fifth on. Avenue. Sí, on sería. On Fifth First Avenue from Modo. Sería entre la primera avenida y la segunda. Between. Ajá, between. Between First Avenue and Second Avenue. Ajá, entre la primera y la segunda avenida. Ok. O entre la primera y la segunda. Entre la, entre la calle Barrios y la Rosenbel. Rosenbel Street. Rosenbel Street, ajá. No me acuerdo, no lo noté. In front. Oh. In front. Of the park. In front. In front, de verdad. Of the park. Ajá. In front. <coughs> en el parque en frente de él uh -huh. de mall y parque en frente del parque entonces el mall está en la primera avenida en frente del parque uh -huh. the mall is on the first avenue Uh -huh. The first avenue in, in front, front. Uh -huh. in park. Ay, este Así free quedaría. siempre me sale como amigo aquí. Free. <ríe>
Vale, eso sería el restaurante y el otro, ¿qué es lo no, que es, falta? Ese es el mall. El ah, otro sí. es la otra dirección. Era la del parque. La del parque. Ajá. Entonces la pregunta sería, vamos a poner aquí parque. <ríe> Brevemente en el centro de la ciudad. <ríe> <ríe> ¿Dónde yo le va a yo que dar la dirección porque tenemos dos calles dos nombres de calle y una ¿no? avenida y una avenida dos porque bueno la primera ah la segunda, sí ¿verdad? sí cabal cómo sería ahí el parque está entre la primera y segunda avenida pues creería que sí es válido decirlo así primera y segunda avenida teacher help estará por ahí hello, hello. Sí, aquí está aquí está yes. Uy. Este, podemos decir que el parque está entre la primera y la segunda avenida o también podemos decir que está sobre en me, entre la calle sí, Bajo el de la... y la calle Rustel veamos ahí déjenme ver el mío se ve un pequeñito ahí so, where is it? Ok, el parque. The park is. <clears throat> the park is between Barrios Street and Roosevelt Street. Ok. Ajá, uh -huh. so you can say the park is between Barrios Street and Roosevelt Street. Um, on the second avenue and first avenue. Ok, the park is on Barrios Street. En Roosevelt Street, between the, fir, the second and the first avenue. Podría ser. Vamos a ver si ponemos ahí algún ejemplo. Voy a compartir. So let's write the example. Ok, acá recuerden que vamos a hacerlo por, también por el, la relevancia, donde estaría la entrada principal. Mm, ya. Yeah. Mm, the park. Sí, podríamos decir está entre el barrio de Roosevelt Street. Uh, for example, let me check. Yes, the park is between barrios and Roosevelt Street. On the second avenue. Digamos que la entrada, si la entrada sería abajo, <ríe> sería en la segunda avenida. Bueno, sí. yo, la segunda avenida. Um, si sí, no, avenida. sería acá en la primera. Y, so, on the second avenue. On the second avenue, sí, ahí sería. El parque está entre la calle Barrios y, y, y la calle Rosen. Sobre la segunda avenida, para que quede claro ahí. Uh -huh. Porque si, no lo, si la entrada está ahí en la segunda avenida, para no mandar el cristiano del otro lado. ¿eh? <risa> ah, sí, como... como anduve dando yo cuando no conocía la entrada del, del hospital Rosales, le di vuestra toda la manzana. <risa> really? no. Llegué feo. más cansa, llegué más enferma. <risa> Mm, ajá, eso podría ser una forma como lo podríamos dejar. The park is between. Sí. Teacher, entonces hemos hecho bien la del mall, porque nosotros hemos puesto en la pregunta, ¿Where is the mall? Uh -huh. Y hemos puesto de respuesta, The mall is on the first avenue in front of the park. Sí, está bien. Está, está bien. bien. Ajá, está sobre la primera avenida, en front of the park. Enfrente uh -huh. del parque. Sí. Enfrente del parque. Uh -huh. vale. También podríamos que... hacer, es que sí, esa podría ser una posible respuesta. 
Y pues, también podría ser eh, entre el barrio Street en Roosevelt Street, on the First Avenue, across from the park. Podría ah, ser otra más. Uh -huh. The mall, right? The mall is. La que tienen ustedes es. Es que está enfrente del parque. Um, on the First on Avenue, the first ¿verdad? Avenue. On the First, first Avenue. avenue in front. Of the, of the park. Ok, en palabras ahí, sí. Uh -huh. sí. Sí, está bien. Sí, oh, sí. También, de ahí, ya, sí. Uh -huh. Habíamos hecho la de restaurante. Ah, ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, where is the restaurant? Restaurant. 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 The restaurant is at the end of the Roosevelt Street. Okay, uh -huh. the restaurant is at the end of Roosevelt Street. Uh -huh. The restaurant is at the end of Roosevelt Street. Está bien, está bien. Yeah. Okay. Sí, está bien. Bye. Podrían también ponerle sobre qué avenida está. Uh -huh. Para complicar la primera avenida. Ajá, para comple sí, para complementarle que sea más claro ahí. Um, uh -huh. Porque está regresa a la segunda vez. Vaya, estamos diciendo que uh -huh. está. Ay, ¿a dónde está? está en el... Ah, que está allá en la esquina. Ajá, está al final de la calle Roosevelt. Está... Roosevelt ajá. ajá, o sea, le han puesto que está al final, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí. Ah, okay. sí. sí, al final. Le hemos puesto. Si restaurant is at the end of the Roosevelt Street. Ajá. Sí. Uh -huh. On the Estoy first la primera avenue. avenida. Ajá, sobre la primera avenida. Me parece bien. Uh -huh. At the end of Roosevelt Street. Ah, ya no le ponga el, el artículo. Da. The restaurant is at the end of Roosevelt Street. En, en is at. Ah, no, um, es que ahí le escuché que dijo the Roosevelt Street. Ya no va el de. No, no es necesario. Solo se puede poner en off Roosevelt Street. Mm, at the end of Roosevelt Street. Ajá, no es necesario que le ponga el artículo TH. Ajá. Eh, ajá. A ver. Ah, bueno, a menos que da, da, a menos que acá nos estamos refiriendo en el restaurante, sí. The restaurant. Pero ahí eh, sería al inicio. The restaurant, el restaurante. Sí, así hemos comenzado. Ajá, the restaurant común. is at the end of Roosevelt Street, sería entonces. Ajá. Ajá. Era necesario, ¿no? Ahí voy a el da. Con este Roosevelt. Ok. Ajá. Ya, ya terminaron, les faltan todavía. Tres hemos hecho. Tres. Ah, okay. El parque, el restaurante y el mall. Ok. Bien, entonces las dejo ahí nada más y yo checo nada más por aquí un grupo. Bye. Ya entro ah. a ti. <ríe> Hello, guys. Uh, ladies, Hello. did you finish? ¿Terminamos, chicas? Eh, yes. Dice, tres hemos hecho. Bueno, yo tres he hecho. Pero no sé tres, hecho. ok. Sí. Perfect. ¿Era más? Mm, one. Uh, <ríe> uh, I think that we have like three or more. <ríe> <laughs> <You're fine. laughs> no, no worry, it's okay. No worry, it's okay. Yo, yo hice tres también. Ah, ok, nice. Entonces vamos a regresar a, a la sala. Hola. Eh, el problema es que es saber si está muy bien lo que hemos hecho. Uh -huh. Vamos a escuchar. Ok, leanlas. The Aquí. restaurant is at the is at end, no, perdón, is at the end of Rosalper Street and yes. the First Avenue. Ok, sí, that's ok. La otra, la que hice es The Arrow, Arrow Company is at the end of Rosalper Street next to the Box World. O sea que está a la par del Box, box World. Ahí se fue. Ah, no, aquí está. Ajá, Arroz Company. Ajá, exactamente. 
Que está a la par de, no, permítame, company is at end of Rosalper Street. Sobre la calle principal. And next to the box world. O sea, que a la par de box world. O enfrente de box world. Algo así quise decir. Yo estoy hablando en silencio, no me he visto. <risa> <risa> Arrows Company. Ok, el restaurante sí está ahí al final. Um, the Arrows Company. Company is at. Let's say. Ok, no at. No está en ninguna esquina. The Arrows Company is. Uh, let's see. Is on. The second avenue and Roosevelt Street. O oh, podríamos hacerlo al revés. Um, the Roos Company is on Roosevelt Street and mm -hmm. the second avenue. Ahí lo que pasa es que podemos ubicar, digamos, a dónde sería la entrada principal. Sería acá en la segunda avenida o acá uh -huh. en, la, en la primera. Vamos a ubicar que acá es la, es la segunda porque me dice que está enfrente de. Y ubicamos acá la otra preposición, in front of the book word. Ahí está. Rosbell. Entonces sería, the Arrows Company is on Roosevelt Street and um, the Second Avenue in front of the book world. Este N sería I, ¿verdad? Podríamos ubicar también acá la coma y ubicar el con nada más on the Second Avenue in front of the book world. No, o sea, si quiere poner el I, pónganlo así, no, pues, ubica aquí la preposición on. Pero como ya lo utilizamos ahí adelante, pues podríamos utilizar en también. The street and the second avenue in front of the book world. No podría ser next to, porque no está aquí en el mismo cuadrito, en el mismo bloque, en la misma cuadra. Entonces tenía que ser uh, across front o in front of. ¿Cuál sería otra que tengan dudas? Teacher, yo puse la del de mall. Where is the mall? Uh -huh. The mall is on the first avenue in front of the park. Okay, the mall is, uh, repeat it again. The mall is on the first avenue in front of the park. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Y también. la hice también la de restaurante, como la de Melissa. Uh -huh. Pero esa la hice yo así, de, where is the restaurant? The restaurant is at the corner on the Roswell Street. Mm, ok, uh -huh. sería al final. Uh -huh. At the corner of Roswell Street. Mm, más bien aquí sería al final de la calle. Al final bueno. de la calle. Ajá, la, al final de la calle, veamos. Sí, podría, podría ser at the corner of uh, the Roswell Street. Bueno, que ahí, si termina ahí, podría ser también. Podría ser también. Ah, uh -huh, como lo vimos en el otro caso. Where is that scene? The church. The church is at the corner of the various streets and Second Avenue. Well, no, on Second Avenue. The church is on the second avenue between Barrios Street and Roosevelt Street. Sería, mm -hmm. Esa podría ser la otra. Ah, ok. Está sobre la segunda avenida. Segunda avenida. Ajá, entre la calle Barrios y la... La Roosevelt. Ah, la Roosevelt. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. Ok, so now let's go back. Ok. Thank you, ladies. Very nice job. Thank you, teacher. So let's go back. Okay.
Okay, let's see volunteers for the first, um, well, I'm going to ask the question and you answer. Where is the mall, guys? Where is the mall? So let's start with that one. Where's the mall? The mall is on First Avenue. Okay, on the First Avenue. Just From... that. Uh -huh. From the park, across from the park, between between the restaurant and the bank. Okay, nice. So that's another possibility. Where is the sport palace? Where is the sport palace, guys? Anybody? What is the sport palace? The the sport palace is between the bank and the school. Okay, awesome. Uh, on on Barrio Street. On Barrio Street. Okay, nice. Uh, where is the church? Somebody. The church is on the Second Avenue. Mm -hmm. On the Second Avenue. Um, in front of City Hall. Mm. Next to, next to, next to, uh, uh -huh, next, next to, to city the hall. city hall. Okay, across from the park. Let's see. Okay. How about between the school and and the city hall? Between, I would say across from the school and next to the city hall. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how about book word? What is book word? Book word. The book board is on Russell Roosevelt Street. Okay. On on Roosevelt Street. On Roosevelt Street. And Second Avenue could be. And Second Avenue. Yes. Uh -huh. Or at the end of the Second Avenue. So you at have the some, end of, yes. Uh -huh. So you have some more uh, possibilities, but you have to think about the location or the entrance. Mm -hmm. uh, en algunas tenemos más de una posibilidad, nada más analicemos dónde sería la entrada o el orden de relevancia. Por ejemplo, the book word is on Roosevelt Street, me está diciendo que sería acá, across from the city hall. Mm -hmm. Entonces, yo digo, the cerca. book word is <laughs> on, um, on the second avenue in Roosevelt Street, estoy diciendo que sería acá, across from the Arrows Company. Probablemente mm -hmm. estamos mencionando que la entrada es acá. Let's see, uh, where is Arrows Company? Where is Arrows Company? Is on Roosevelt Street. Across from the park. Across from the park, okay. How about the restaurant? The restaurant is... The or restaurant, restaurant is, is, and, is at the end of Roosevelt Street on the First Avenue. Okay. It's at the end of uh, Roosevelt Street on the First Avenue. Excellent. Thank Great you. job. Very good job, guys. So now let's continue. So we have a conversation just to finish and just to wrap up. And look at this. We have the same map, but we have some questions in here. So we have Julia and Stranger, Andres, Stranger, Andres, and Stranger. Uh, hello, can you do me a favor? I am lost. Where is the bank? Hello, the bank is on the on the First Avenue and Barrios Street. Hello, where is Dollar City? Hi, Dollar City is in the mall. Hello, where is the book word? Hi, book word is at the corner of Second Avenue and Roosevelt Street. So now I want you to do that. Let's see, I'll need some volunteers in order to recreate the questions. So I wanna recreate la conversación. Let's see, uh, I need a volunteer. So two volunteers. Or one. I am a stranger. <laughs> You're the stranger. <laughs> okay, stranger things. 
<laughs> okay, Wilbur. Um, hello, can you do me a favor? I am last. Where is the bank? Hello, the bank is on First Avenue and Barrios Street. So you're wrong now. Wilbur. Well, I'm not going to say anything. Lo iba a regañar por saludar a extraño. No, me iba a regañar por andar preguntando extraño. But that's the same. Yes, kidding. No, no, no. Okay, uh, para que no se duerman. Um, hello, um, where is Dollar City? Wilbur? Hi, Dollar City is in the mall. Okay, in the mall. Then where is Bookworth? Hi, Bookworth is at the corner of Tycoon Avenue and Roosevelt Street. Okay, nice. Let's see um, now, uh, Rudy, Rudy and Janet. So by create the conversation with some other uh, places in here. Recreenla, pero utilizando otros lugares de acá. So you can use the headings. Pueden utilizar acá los encabezados. Hello, can you do me a favor? I am lost. Where is the park? Okay. Hello, can you do me a favor? I am not a mall. Mm, I'm sorry, I don't speak with stranger. <laughs> Okay, so let's repeat. Bye bye then. <laughs> bye bye then. Let's see. So let's repeat the, the conversation. <clears throat> the mall, dijo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Okay. The mall is on um, First Avenue and Russell, Rosenberg Street. Roosevelt. Roosevelt. Roosevelt Street. Okay, nice. Continue. Now, Rudy, you ask the question. Hello, where, where is Dollar City? No, select another place. School, church, city hall, uh, San Salvador okay. city hall. Hello, where is uh, a park? Hi, a park. Ah, okay. Hi, a park is in the mall. Mm, the park is on uh, Second Avenue. Uh -huh, the park is on Second Avenue. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Janet, so next question. Um, so you select one of these. Uh, hello. Uh, Where hello. Is? Where is the restaurant? Okay. Okay, the the restaurant is in Roosevelt Street. Okay, at the end, at the end, at the end, at the at end, end. Uh -huh. at the end of Roosevelt Street. Roosevelt Street. At the end, at the end, al final de. Okay, we're uh -huh. going to pass the attendance. Thank you, guys. We have just finished another session and let's continue. I'm going to pass the tendency. Please, please tell me. Flor Alejo. Blanca Flor Alejo. Present. Thank you. Uh, Claudia Guadalupe Alfaro. Concepción de la Soledad Molina. Emerson Leonardo Tobar Eric Emerson Mangíbar Calles Evelyn Marlene Guevara Present Thank you Marlene Fátima Beatriz Franco Present Thank you Fátima Gerson Enoch Bonilla Present Thank you, Herson and Nock Bonilla. Me ayudan ahí con el micrófono, chicos. Okay, thank you. And let's see. 
Leonel Gustavo Funes. Present. Thank you. Karin Janet Martinez. Present. Thank you. Maria Leticia Relegueño. Present, teacher. Thank you. Melissa, uh, okay. Nailea Isamar Garcia. Thank you. Olga Tatiana Portillo. Present. Thank you. Oscar Alberto Aguilar Romero. Present. Thank you, Oscar. Rudy Alexander Asensio. Present, teacher. Thank you, Rudy. Sara Noemi Jimenez. Present. Thank you, Wilber Francisco Javier. I am here. Thank you, and Xavier Ernesto Lopez Mendoza. Okay, thank you guys. So that's all for today. And let me see. Okay, nos quedamos este día con, veamos. Uh, questions. So, I think this is... Buenas noches, teacher. No sé si me puso. Concepción. Sí. Sí, sí, Concepción. Ok. Claro, a mí tampoco me llamó. Um, ¿A quién lo llamé? Me dice Stephanie Hernández. Melissa. Sí. Ok. Sí, ya está marcada, Melissa. Gracias. Bien, nos quedamos este día con Rudy. Y, sí, me parece que es Rudy. No, y Sara, Sara. Sara, y si tenemos alguna duda, que tal alguna duda, pues sí. Ok, thank you guys. So that's all for today. I'll see you next class, tomorrow. So okay. have a great night, guys. See you, see you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. See you Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Marlene, have a great night. Tatiana, too. Thanks, teacher. You're Me, welcome. too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. <laughs> See you. <ríe> Muy bien, vamos a ver Sarita. En... Ya está Sarita, sí, aquí está. Sarita, questions. Um, I don't have questions, teacher. <ríe> ¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma? Ah, bien. Bien. Okay. Sí, ya, ya lo aprendí a usar. Me estaba costando, pero sí ya lo puedo usar. Uh -huh. Y ya avancé también en, la, en las tareas que había. Ah, ok, de acuerdo. Sí. Bueno, entonces. Bueno, bien. <ríe> ok, entonces. Nos vemos mañana. Bye, pues, Thank you, Sarita. Bye. bye. bye.